Welcome to Make It Easy Education. Structure of the computer. The block diagram shows the structure of the computer. There are four functional units. Input unit. Central processing unit. Memory unit. And output unit. Input unit. Input unit accepts instructions and data from the user. It converts these instructions and data in computer understandable form. It supplies the converted instructions and data to the CPU for further processing. Examples of input unit are Keyboard Mouse Light pen Joystick Barcode reader Microphone Optical mark reader Optical character reader Central processing unit CPU CPU controls, coordinates, and supervises the operations of the computer. It is responsible for processing the input data and information. CPU consists of arithmetic logic unit and control unit, arithmetic and logic unit. ALU performs mathematical calculations, and takes logical decisions. Arithmetic calculations include addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Logical decisions involve comparison of two day two items to see which one is larger or smaller or equal. Control unit. The control unit coordinates and controls the data flow in and out of CPU, and also controls all the operations of ALU, registers and also input or output units. It is also responsible for carrying out all the instructions stored in the program. It decodes the fetched instruction, understands it and sends control signals to input or output devices until the required operation is done properly by ALU and memory, registers. CPU also has a set of registers, for temporary storage of data, instructions, addresses, and intermediate results of calculation. Registers can be of different sizes, 16-bit. 32-bit, 64-bit and so on. Accumulator is the main register in the ALU. Memory unit. Computer memory is used to store information. Two types of memory. Primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory. It is also called the main memory. CPU can work with the information stored in the main memory. Two types of primary memory are Random access memory and read-only memory. The input data that is to be processed is brought into the main memory before processing. The instructions required for processing of data and any intermediate results are also stored in the main memory. The output is stored in main memory before being transferred to the output device. Secondary memory in the secondary memory, the data, the programs and the outputs are stored permanently. Examples of secondary memory are Floppy disk Hard disk Optical disk Flash drive Memory card Output unit Output unit accepts processed data and information from the CPU. It converts these data and information in user understandable form. It displays or outputs the converted data and information. Examples of output unit are monitor, speaker, plotter, printer. Every week you will be notified with a new video. An easy way to learn more. So, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Share it. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.